Well, salutations, kindred spirits, greetings, and welcome to an, I call it an unboxing video, but hey, it's a mega unboxing video. Yes, that was not clickbait in the title. We're going to open $5,000 worth of magic. Okay, it might be a little bit of clickbait. It's probably closer to like 4,700. I, I, I didn't do the math. I, not a, math is hard, but I'm like a kid at Christmas today. Let me give you a little prologue here before I injure myself. Let's put this down. About a year ago, a little over a year ago, I opened a little ditty called Conjure.com. This was uh, what I figured to be a piece of the puzzle to making these social media endeavors work. If you haven't guessed, I'm transitioning this way. Hey y'all, I'm here now. So part of that puzzle, I think, having an online resource to offer some sales, you know, give the beginners a good chance to get a good start, and at the same time, maybe, uh, you know, make a little scratch to make this wheel turn. So that's what we're doing. Hey, now. We've moved into a bigger space. I have an office. I have space for inventory. and. We're going to fill some of that space today. This this load from Murphy's Magic. Thank you, Murphy's, for uh, being part of this dream. Been a pleasure to work with, and uh, can't wait to see what's in the box. Like I'm like a kid at Christmas. And uh, hey, if you're watching this, let me let me note that if you are watching this on YouTube, then I have already coded these items into Conjure.com, and they're waiting for your perusal today. So. Uh, later on in the video, like probably at the end, I'll mention the sale I have planned. It'll save you a little money if you're going to do some shopping at the store. And as we open these boxes and take a look at the items, you'll learn about exactly what's going to be waiting for you there. <laughs> now, some of these things I've had before, uh, many of them I have not. We'll start with some of the things I've had before. Right off the top here, we'll get our magic wands. Now, I've ordered a couple styles of magic wands. These are the Uday wands. They hold up well. They're great for a beginner. It's a sturdy plastic wand. Now, these look like wands, but they're not. These are, these are Chinese sticks, or as I presented it on the uh, social medias, kiss tassel sticks. It's politically correct. Uh, I'll be checking the quality of these. I don't, I'm not going to dig into each item. I think we'd be here an hour or two. I'm looking to get this done in a loose 15 or 20 minutes. I don't know. We'll find out together. Chinese sticks. Those, those retail for about 10 bucks. So that's a pretty good value set in my opinion. Uh, we'll be offering accessories. This is a slush powder. Slush powder. This instantly turns liquids into a solid and a lot of people use that, and well, now I have it to offer a lot of people. Ooh, here's a fun new item. This, they, these I haven't looked at. Oh, and I haven't looked at those either. This is the new Eclipse deck. D. Christopher's marked ESP deck. Uh, I haven't opened these. I don't know if I'd recommend them, but I know this. Murphy's has sold out of them. Uh, my salesperson suggested I give these a try. I'm glad I did because no one has them. Maybe I'll be one of the few. Uh, maybe later this week, once I've had a chance to settle in, I'll take some of the newer items. We'll do a little showcase of the things I haven't seen before. This would be one of those things as well. Th this item here, the this is the, I guess they're calling this the Covert Reel. This is an invisible thread reel. It's Kevlar thread. And this is an item that honestly I don't use, but I get a lot of people ask about. And so I've, I've chosen this item as a, uh, an introductory. We're gonna see if, it's, if it's, it stands up to the, the conjure quality. And let, oh, I bought this for myself. <laughs> I wanted this for Christmas and I didn't get it. So we went ahead and picked up John Graham stage by stage. This will be something I review. I do love magic books. This is one, it's a dissertation on how to take your magic from the close-up arenas and elevate it onto the platform and the stage and beyond. And it's a gift to myself. Let's look at the books that I've chosen to carry. Uh, of course, this one. And these are so heavy, there's like zero profit in it. But look, if you want one of them, I've got a few now. The Mark Wilson Complete Course in Magic. We have them. It's the best beginner book there is. Uh, one of the best beginner card texts. I had to pick from a few. I just wanted to pick one. I picked this one. 
This is expert card technique. Hundreds of pages on all the techniques by some of the grandmasters. It's an invaluable resource. If you haven't read an expert card technique and you, you like card magic, well, there's a book for you. Coins! Had to pick something for coins. Well, I picked this one. Duh. It's the Bible of coin magic. Bobo's Modern Coin Magic. Got a few copies of that ready for some kindred spirits to it was my it was my first real magic book bobo's modern coin magic so to give you an idea of how a book like that might change your life i carried it with me everywhere i've read that book front to back a few times over still do look at it it's invaluable and then i thought this well what about the guys who aren't just beginners what if we have guys that have maybe done some things and want to take it to the next level so i i edit th these man this is a great book this is, uh, this is Ken Weber's Maximum Entertainment, I guess 2.0, Director's Notes for Magicians and Mentalists. And this is not a book of tricks. This is a book of how to use your tricks in a professional capacity. And I don't want to do a whole book review, but this is the subject matter that you need when you decide to start working as a professional. I'm going to start stocking Murphy's Rope and offering their 25-foot package as a standalone, just as a utility item. I got a few hanks of that in here somewhere. What is that? Got some more thumb tips because you always need thumb tips. Oh, we went with this too. That's got a dozen of these. This is Murphy's new magic coloring book. They have uh, produced their own run of this classic children's effect where the it's it's a blank book that becomes colored and then you know what there's video demonstrations of all of this stuff on the website so if you go to conjure.com you want to know what the magic coloring book does well just go watch it it'll show you what it does frame i'm super interested in these i'm super interested in everything because i love magic i'm like a kid at christmas right now I'm, oh it's magnetic i'm like why is sticking it's magnetic there's something magnetic in there. Yeah. Oh. One of my favorite magic guys is Brent Braun. He's been producing some good things. This is one of those things, the FPS coin wallet. I cleared my desk right before this. It's over yonder there. I use this thing. It's an everyday carry for me. For me, it's a production of a Sharpie marker, and I keep my rubber bands in there. Anyway, love this thing. I got a few of them. And I think that's the end of the small box. All right, here's the big box. Let me see. Uh, oh, good. I wore pants today. All right, here we go. Opening the big one. <clears throat> I know what's right on top. One of my new favorite props from last year. This one. He prints them upside down to confuse you. But if you do this, this is Martin Lewis's one to six spot card. Now, you may have seen this trick before, and I think I ordered a couple versions of this trick. Guess what? This one's the best one. It's 100 bucks, a little bit less, 95. It's pricey. You can buy this trick in uh, cheap, you know, cheap, cheap uh, versions for like $15. They work. I've used them. They're fine. If you want the best one, it's this one. Oh, <laughs> I know a lot of people have been wanting this, so I got it for you, folks. This is not for miners. Can we get some focus? Yep, we have flash paper. That'll be listed in our accessory section. Please don't burn yourself. Thank you. This is a heavy box of magic. All right, got my exercise for the day. Now we have more space for things. Okay, super happy to have these. I like rubber band magic. I do a lot of it. And uh, I'm a believer after buying a couple packs of these over uh, the summer last year. This is the Joe Rindflesh rubber band package. I just got the rainbow package. That way if you get a bunch of different ones, I figure, hey, if you like these, just continue buying them from Joe. Find the color you like and buy them. These are waiting on you. I chose these because this trick is on my radar. I'm going to post it again soon. I expect people to be interested. This is the three shell game. This is the Bernays set, which is accessible, reasonably priced, and works just fine. Oh, oh, we also got these. Here's a trick I haven't done in years, but used to, and I get a lot of requests for it. This is one of the classics of magic, the hot rod pocket trick. 
that stick, that one gym stick, you just stick that in your pocket. You're good for a few minutes of magic. Let me do. You might have seen me use these. These I use them all the time in my real work. This is the Prisma Light by Rocco. Got a few sets of the red ones there. The Super Brights. These are really nice. The batteries are, are changeable. It's an upgrade to the product. Oh, oh, so many good things. So many good things. The Perfect Pen. This. This in my day was one of the top tier gaffed items. Uh, many of you might have seen this released. Uh, some, some of the gaffs have even made its way into Slum Magic kits and such. This pen is the perfect pen. It's aptly titled. We'll do an unboxing on this as well as time moves forward. Here's one that I absolutely love and there's a new release of it that I haven't tried. And uh, it's another prop that's sold out just about everywhere. If you've been looking for one of these, I have a few of these. They're priced at like $40 a piece. So this is uh, not a cheap, a cheap thing. It's just a visual change of a card, the WoW 3. Oh sure, you can buy the cheap knockoffs, but it won't be WoW 3 with the advanced Japanese printing technology. Oh, that's what they said in the demo. Go look at the demo. It'll blow your mind. Oh, this. Speaking of tricks that won my heart last year, Miguel Chatelain's Matrix Revolution. Got a couple of these to share with some kindred spirits. This is where uh, holes appear on a playing card, and then you move the holes around the card Matrix style. But if you get one, let me tell you, you feel like Thanos of playing cards, like you're just warping space time in and out. It's a good time. Uh, some people will appreciate these, some might not. This is a pricey accessory, but I'm picking the things that I use. This is those. This is Leo Semester's Leather uh, Baseballs. The, it's a rubber ball with hand-sewn leather, and they're about 50 bucks, $46 for a set of these. They're the best. I use them. If you want the best, we have them for you. And to go with them, we have cups. Now, here's... My standard cups, these are the beginner aluminum set. They're about $30, great cup. They come with uh, crochet balls, the cork crochet covered red crochet balls. If you're looking for a good value set of cups, get these. If you're looking for a great cup, and I'm gonna open this because I've been waiting on this for the better part of a year. That's right, these are mine, so. I have a few sets of the Legend Cups. These should be, the, and they are, it says it on the box, the Aged set. So uh, you've seen me use the Legend Cups online, I'm sure, but you haven't seen these beauties. And uh, I guess I could show you the balls. These are the balls I spoke of that come with the cups. Ha! Oh. oh, the glory, yes. In my opinion, these Legend Cups, let me raise the table so you can kind of get a... That's right, raising, raising tables. You don't get that with just any magic YouTuber. You get that with me, though. So these things, heavy copper, they're heavy cups. Like, I use these things on the street. I'm against the elements, wind's blowing, people are knocking my table. These things can't tip over. And I need them to have good sound. And these sound like a bell, so... Legend Cups. These are mine. You can get yours. They're $150 a set. And if you're looking for a good cup at a better price, you're not going to find it. I'm telling you that right now. These are, these are going to be... Oh, oh, we're adding this. I wonder what this little half pack is. The Mirage deck. This is a roughed Sven Galley deck. So... If you know what a Sven Galley deck is, and you know what roughing is, that's a rough Sven Galley deck. It's kind of a classic deck I've never had, and uh, it's really great for forcing. So, speaking of the great decks, the Omni deck. Yeah, the Omni deck. This is a great finish for a deck, for a card trick. The deck becomes a solid, it looks like a solid block of, got the, the silks, looks like a solid block of ice, kind of, or glass. It trans, it's like the deck vanishes. These, this is going to be an interesting unboxing. I almost didn't order these. The word sketchy comes to mind. But look, I'm interested. First of all, there are seven, there are seven rings in this set. 
Okay, that's a weird number for a set of linking rings. Eight inch, I've been wanting an eight inch set. I don't have one. I've got the smaller ones, the Malero five inch. I use 10 inch when I perform in the street, but I like an eight inch size. So we're gonna be taking a look at these and uh, you know, they're reasonably priced. It's like under 50 bucks for this set of rings. So hopefully they're not crap. I would love to continue offering a value price set of linking rings. Tang Tango Magic is a coin, mainly a coin manufacturer. They produce tricky things with coins. And uh, these are some of my additions to the to the site. So we're doing an unboxing because I can't wait. I can't I can't wait. So these look to be Morgan dollars. They look like Morgan dollars. There's four of them in there. They're exactly the same, especially this one. Oh, another trick that I happily introduced to my repertoire over the last year, and this has been on my radar since really the 90s, this is Daryl's Acrobatic Knot. This is where you have two ropes, one colored differently, and then you tie a knot. It jumps from one rope to the other. It fuses on. It's a wonderful piece. It's easy, accessible, and colorful. Plays big or small if you want it. What is D? Oh, okay. These are going to be, ah, finally, bricks of invisible deck. Feels like about three bricks of invisible decks there. And then three more bricks of other cards. They've been out of invisible decks. So we went ahead and loaded up on our trick cards. We got a bunch of them. Oh, and here's the cheap version I spoke of. The surprising dots trick. Huh? Oh, I, I didn't get that many. Let's make a little stack and go through this stack here. Speaking of Daryl with the ropes, we got another wonderful, it's actually a Larry West trick, but Daryl revised it, produced it in parlor and stage size. We're offering the parlor size of the whole thing. The, the, that's a great, you get one Elms, literally one Elmsley count. You get like three or four minutes of magic. You could probably make it last longer than that if you like. So it's the ultimate pack small, play big. If you want the uh, spot card in reasonable, in reasonable, uh, you know, inexpensive, this is the one. This is the one you'll be looking at. Surprising dots. The Blake Voigt Acro Index, the dry erase version. These are 60 bucks. They're handmade by Blake Voigt, so you get his DNA in addition to this fine prop, which I have used in a couple of, a uh, couple of short videos. I figure this. Any of this stuff don't sell, don't sell, I just got backups. So I'm good either way. If you don't want to buy it, I'm good. I just got more backups. All right, we're going to end, I guess, opening wands. I got more rope. I bought a lot of rope. Hey, please buy some rope. Thanks. And uh, yeah, so that's it except for these magic wands. Is that it? Cool. So I've been looking for uh, an upgrade to offer the student who's looking for something a little more advanced than the U-Day plastic, right? So this is the Murphy's Pro Wand. It comes in a nice carrying case. It's, uh, yeah, feels good. Feels like it's a metal wand. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting wood. It's heavier than I expected, but I get the notion that a wand like this is gonna last. For less than 20 bucks, this is a good option for a wand upgrade. And we have those for you as well. And this, maybe I'll do a picture da -da -da, of all the stuff. Here is our, uh, this is our uh, $5,000 unboxing. Whew. We did it. Okay. So, hey, thank you guys for watching. And know this now. We're going to have coupon code upgrade. I'm just making the coupon code up right now. I'll probably post, I'll post the coupon code on conjure.com. So look, I'm, I'm gonna upgrade the store tonight. I've got, I've been building the site for the last week. All of these props have already been entered in. They're in draft form. I just gotta go click some on buttons. I'll be doing that over the next 24 hours. And by the time this video is posted, coupon code upgrade for 10% off your order. We're also going to do free shipping on all orders over $100. So go spend a C note and we'll ship it to you for free. And you'll have uh, my undying appreciation for helping this piece of the puzzle come together. Yeah, I'm going to dig into some of this stuff and play with it. And then they'll be shelved accordingly, ready to be shipped to you. I hope you all see fit to uh, spend a little scratch. And hey, if you can't or don't or won't, that's cool too. Maybe you can support with a subscribe, a comment, a like, you know, give the algorithm some love and then it makes me 
easier to find you next time. Regardless of how we do it or what we do, I thank you for spending some time with me. Your attention, your energy is always appreciated. And yeah, it's going to be a wrap. It's time to magish. I'll see you next time.